Hello, everyone. We welcome you to our Canstruction Junior Brief Introduction. My name is Katie Bowman. And I'm Jake Milligan. And we are happy to have you today as we describe our Canstruction Junior 2021 event. All right, before we get started, I just want you to know that um, everything we're about to say as far as well as um, photos from previous years, the rule book, the registration form and the submission form are all available on our website. That is www.memphiscanstructionjunior.com. Because of COVID, this event will be held virtually. Schools are no longer limited to one team per school and may submit multiple entries. We do suggest teams of five. The competition will involve design in Tinkercad of a structure built of canned food. The design must be detailed with specific can label information. All teams must provide a cost estimate of all cans and other materials in their structure design. A new 3D printed model bracket is also available this year. It is an option to 3D print a scale model of the structure. The theme for this year's competition will be Resilient Memphis. Okay, Tinkercad, um, this is how students will design their structures um, this year. So Tinkercad is a free online 3D modeling software. Um, so like Katie mentioned, this year there will be a design only bracket and a design and 3D print bracket. And um, students will also put together a cost estimate and the top designs will advance to the final round where STEM ambassadors will build the structure and a live stream event. So there will be two brackets. The first is design only, where you'll be submitting your Tinkercad design through the Canstruction website. This is just your Tinkercad design. The second option is a design plus your 3D printed model. And you'll be submitting your Tinkercad design through the Canstruction website and your 3D printed model to the University of Memphis. The two winners selected from each bracket of the first round will advance to the final round. So a general overview of the criteria for the um, structures to be judged on will be best meal. So that's the nutritional value of the cans that you use in your structure. Uh, the best use of labels, structural ingenuity. Uh, there will be a juror's favorite winner and there will be two honorable mentions. Um, so some rules to go by when you're designing your structures, the real life size of this um, is limited to eight feet by eight feet by eight feet. Um, no glass containers are allowed, no pet food is allowed, no alcoholic beverages are allowed, and the structures must be structurally self-supporting. This year, we're adding a cost estimate bracket. And to complete this portion of the design competition, you will have to submit an Excel spreadsheet workbook where you'll have columns for the estimate for the overall structure for brand and type of food product in the can, can size, quantity, unit cost per can, and location and structure. Cost estimates will include a cell that calculates the total cost. We will also have a total cost of the structure that will not exceed $400. The cost estimates will be uploaded as Excel workbooks no later than April 23rd, 2021. Okay, something to note this year, um, you are not 
going out and buying cans yourself. We will have STEM ambassadors um, go out and buy the cans from the winners of the first round of brackets. Um, and then after the live stream event, all of those cans will be donated to the Mid-South Food Bank. So again, do not buy cans on your own. A timeline. So March 22nd registration deadline. This is an extension from the original deadline of March 15th. April 23rd is when submissions are due via online platform through our construction website for both design drawing only and design drawing plus 3D print brackets. April 30th is when finalists are announced via email and May 14th is when we will live stream build the event, which will be completed by our STEM ambassadors via a virtual platform. Something we're really excited about this year, thanks to our sponsor, NSAFE, is we will have cash prizes for the winning teams for their STEM clubs or science departments at, the, at their schools. So $600 for four, uh, first place, 400 for second, 300 for third, and 200 for fourth. Uh, so we would also like to thank the uh, West Tennessee branch of the American Society of Civil Engineers. And we are excited to see what your teams come up with. And we hope everyone participates and we're so excited to see you via virtually. Okay. <laughs>